Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. This time we're looking at a Lego set and uh, first and foremost, I just got to give a big shout out to a YouTube channel member of mine and a good friend, Ed5. You all know him as Ed5. Um, very, very much a big part of the community. Um, just an extremely generous, generous guy and uh, fellow South Australian too, which is awesome because, you know, there's nothing better than meeting like-minded people. Um, in your own in your own backyard basically which is just so good um he gifted this to me for my birthday um which was almost a month ago now but yeah he, he lives a few hours away so he had another chance to, to catch up and uh he popped in to see me at work on uh saturday afternoon and yeah he gave me this gift as well as a, a couple other things like a card and the bag behind you and a um hot wheels batmobile so but yeah, really wanted to take a look at the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. This is an absolutely awesome set. I've had more fun building this Lego set than I have with Lego sets for a long time. Um, there was just something about this that was just so much fun to build. Great little piece. Obviously, it's a um, little bit more of a adult, but adult centered um, gift, I guess, set. Uh, 18 plus 663 pieces you know this is definitely aimed towards an older audience less play features but it's still just really really cool and that's I'm loving this thing I love what they've done here Lego has done a fantastic job so I thought we'd take a look at the box because it's, it's just really nice it's sort of just black all over yeah definitely aimed at a higher audience but uh yeah I don't, you know, young teenagers and stuff would be, wouldn't have too much trouble with this. It wasn't exactly a difficult build, but it was a lot of fun. Um, so we just got some of the uh, details, a couple of the scenes, which is depicted here, which is really, really cool. And yeah, Lego's done a really great job of this one. And yeah, like I said, just a really fun, really fun building. You see Anakin's head? Just poking through there. <laughs> So yeah, just, just a really iconic scene and uh, you know, put together really, really nicely. So first and foremost, we have this sort of crane, which I have put a little um, peg starter in because uh, that wasn't part of, this, part of the instructions. But So this has the ability to sort of just move up and down, go down levels to, you know, you can basically just close it down on him, which <laughs> it doesn't fit super well, but that's okay. Because, uh, yeah, you're not going to be displaying it like that anyway, for the most part. It's up the top, where it's sort of, you know, Vader's in clear view. And you've got this sort of Technic piece up here, where that is very much just sort of, that sort of ball just goes and sits in the uh, holes below. And it works out really well, it looks nice. So I ended up just putting this little Kinect piece and a little stud over the top there just to... Um, just to hold it in place. It's not going to slip, but it, yeah, just to stop it from slipping. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a potential thing that could happen. Uh, now, one of my favourite parts is the little scene in the back there. You can see Admiral Ozzel and uh, Captain Nita on the screen there. Or Piet. I can't remember which one's which now. I think it's I think it's Piet. <clears throat> so that's really cool. He's sweating. <laughs> He's seconds away from being choked out. I just yeah, the fact that you just that looks it's so good. And it's it's on a clear it's on a sticker and then it's got the blue window in front of it. So it's just really well executed. I, I do love that. So obviously you're getting Darth Vader. You're getting uh, Piet. Admiral Piet. At least I think it was Piet. I'm completely blanking now that I'm recording. As soon as I as soon as I stop recording, I'll remember. But yeah, pretty sure it's Piet that uh, kind of saw what was going on inside the meditation chamber. So yeah, there's a nice, just a nice little stud there in the build, so you can have him just sort of standing there, waiting to be waiting to be addressed. You got the little plaque at the front there. But even the stand, um, the sort of base of it is just really nicely done. So that was a really good good build putting that together. 
and just the way this thing builds up. There's a little clamp on the back there to hold his lightsaber. So you're probably not going to have him displayed holding it at all. So yeah, really interesting to see whether we're going to see Darth Vader's meditation chamber again in uh, the Kenobi series when that hits. So we have Vader and he's sitting in there. He can spin around Wee, like Ron Swanson when he got made to sit in the circle desk in Parks and Recreation. <laughs> so yeah, the Vader minifigure is nice. Uh, it's been a little while since I've had a Vader minifigure, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. We've got nice arm printing uh, legs. I don't think this is any different to some of the more recent ones that have come out. Has been a little while since I've had a Vader, not, not too long, but uh, yeah, definitely got a couple like this, but whether they've had some variations in printing, I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, either way, this one's pretty cool. I like him a lot. He sits in there nicely. Just got to shuffle that out of the way. He accurately could take off his cape because he doesn't have the cape on in the movie. But yeah, you got all these moving parts. So I assume, you know, you move them out a little bit more and when that thing comes down, it will, it will sit better. But um, yeah, I'm not too fussed about that. I think it looks good like that. Get them all in. Looks really good. Yeah, I'm just really thrilled with this set and uh, you know, I'm extremely grateful um, that Ed5 is also known as Blue Aussie Blue Snaggletooth on Instagram. That he picked this up for me. That was just so generous. And uh, yeah, I can't thank you enough, mate. It's just this means a lot, and uh, yeah, it's definitely going to take pride of place in my collection. As one of those, just one of those, they holds a little bit of sentimentality, you know. There's there's things we go and buy ourselves, and then there's things that are gifts from people, and you know, they're the they're the most important parts of the collection of the sentimental gifts. And yeah, I'm going to try and get this guy his own shelf. He's gonna have a nice little spot in here. I don't know where yet, but I will find a nice spot for this set. It deserves to be on display. Like, look at it, it's fantastic. I'd love to sort of see more of these coming out. Um, just little tiny little diorama pieces like this. I love it, I think it's fantastic. You have definitely sort of veered away from the sort of half little playset ones that they've been doing over the, over the recent years. Um, but this is, this is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, very, very, very grateful, very thankful. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that and uh, say thanks again to Ed5. What an absolute legend. Definitely, definitely appreciated, mate. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, look forward to catching up again very, very soon. So yeah, thought I'd uh, show this one off. I really, really love this set. I think it's great. Love to hear what your thoughts are. Please drop them in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a little thumbs up. It always just helps. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. It's always appreciated. And uh, we'll see you very soon on the next video. So until then, may the force be with you always.